watching Life, Love, and Pop Culture. Today I'm sitting down with one of the stars from The Passage. Take a look. So I was uh, 16 at school and my father was pushing for me to be an engineer and um, I, and I watched an episode of Robin Hood and it was Michael Cray playing, playing Robin Hood and I just thought, how did he get that job? Because that looks like fun and that's what I want to do because I, I really had no interest in further education. I couldn't be bothered. I really didn't want to open another book. And uh, the idea of university was like, oh, God, no, another four years of reading stuff. Um, so really, that was it. That was the, 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 the sort of seed. I thought, that's what I want to do. I want to run around, shoot bows and arrows and have fun. Uh, you know, the more I play, the further I get on into his story, into the character, I'm, I'm, I'm really, um, and, and usually it comes about with interviews that I get really interested in his, his, his makeup and his character, you know, at the first at the beginning. I thought he was acting out of a noble intention, love to save his wife. She had Alzheimer's, and he enlisted a friend to, to, to help his best friend, Tim Fanning, and that's when it all went horribly wrong. Um, and then you think about it again, and you know he was asked by Elizabeth just to stay and be with him, or be with her, and he says, "No, I'll fix this." So that says a lot about his character. Uh, is it ego? Is it that he just can't let it alone? And then. He, even after he brings Fanning back to Project Noah, he has the opportunity at any given point to either kill Fanning, as Fanning asked, or to uh, to leave Project Noah uh, or, and to say, you know, this what you're doing is morally wrong, it's illegal, uh, he'll, he'll go to the press, but he keeps on, um, he stays at Noah and he keeps on trying to fix it, trying to find that cure. It's like he's being tempted by the devil, saying just keep going one further, one step further. So I found that really interesting as a character that he doesn't really uh, stand up. He keeps on being, thinks that the end will justify the means. And um, and at the same time, he must be riddled with guilt and remorse because he, I'm sure he plays, he's intelligent, he plays the what if game. What if I didn't go to Bolivia? Uh, what if this, you know, he's the cause of it all. So it's a really fascinating character. I'm really, really interesting, just interested to see what they do with him because in the book, you know, you don't really get that much about him. So they've taken some liberties. Um, they've, for example, they've made uh, my wife. Uh, she was dying of cancer in the book. Now she's got Alzheimer's. But they've kind of enriched it for the characters that are there on screen. Uh, my character certainly is, is enriched. Uh, I mean, that whole storyline with Fanning and Elizabeth is certainly really cool. Um, yeah, I think, and Justin Cronin, I've said it before, Justin Cronin said every time someone reads the book, they they make their own movie in their head. So each time somebody... Uh, so I think it's pretty valid. I think they've really, for the flashbacks, they've really enriched the whole show. Well, that's it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching, and don't forget to tune in next time as we discuss more life, love, and pop culture. Life, love, and pop, pop culture. If you enjoyed my interview, subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to look out for new videos every Wednesday.